Dennis Leach is playing the keyboard from memory. Music and art are activities often used by the day centre to engage with dementia sufferers, but this project is different. It's all about memories. Everybody can do something, be it, it might not be a painting, but it will be tiling or music or something like that. So people can do it and it is always something it's easy to talk about then, have conversations and then start to say to people, well, how does that remind you of what's happened in your life? The staff at the centre try to know as much about the people using the service as possible by hearing their life story. It means they can provide individualised care and this scheme has helped reveal a lot they didn't know about some of the people they're looking after. Ozzy has actually been a printer. He's worked oh, yeah. a long time in printing and he's really good with using, he uses these stamps to stamp out words for us. Am I? Yes, you do. I think you are. Yeah, it's nothing to me to because I, I worked at Guernsey Herald for then the Guernsey Press and Guernsey Star, which are all set up the newspapers. And artwork is at the centre of the project, which has enabled the service users to express themselves. The artwork created by the people here goes on this board. Every piece has an individual story behind it, and it's an ongoing project, so there's plenty more to add. These aren't special cases locked away. These are individuals, these are people. Um, they happen to be living with disease, different range of diseases in dementia, but actually the arts have been a connection. Um, the conversations that we've had with the service users have been magical and they've loved telling us their stories. Stories remembered and documented through art. Fran Lanuri, ITV News.